Alpha textures are the key to good detail in sculpting. They allow you to reproduce details as accurately as possible, which would almost be impossible to do by hand and would take an enormous amount of time. But how are alpha textures actually created? Let's find out. Alpha textures are nothing more than a height map. A black and white image where each pixel has a value from 0 for black to 1 for white, indicating what height the mesh should be at that location. Height maps are also used, for example, to generate procedural terrain for computer games. Let's leave the screen and create one. Take a sheet of paper and show your true nature. Take a picture, download Materialize, open your picture as the diffuse map, click on Create Height Map, play with the settings and save your height map in TIFF format. And here you go. You can do crazy things like going outside to find all kinds of surfaces to create height maps of. Or if going out is too extreme for you, just use Google Images or sites like pexels.com where you can find high resolution images. The quality of the image determines the result of your alpha texture. The object should be evenly lit, no overexposure and no harsh shadows. You have the possibility to influence the result through different controls materialize, but an image has only a limited amount of information and overexposed or underlit pixels are dead pixels. One more thing. Until today, it is impossible to generate perfect height maps from photos. The information stored in a photo is just a different one. Good height maps have to be edited manually, which takes a lot of time. And unfortunately, there are very few good alpha textures to buy. They are either extremely expensive or just crap. Here is an example of a texture from a $30 reptile pack bought from ArtStation. Now let's compare this with a self-made one. See what I mean? If you don't want to waste time creating your own alpha textures, you can support me on Patreon. In return for the smallest supporter pack, you have access to all my alpha textures I use in my videos. All homemade and manually edited with a laugh. So take care and don't be fooled.